I just feel like we were, we're all born on this earth for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And maybe this was Nathaniel's purpose, yeah. um, to, to lay down his life for, for his brother. April marks National Donate Life Month, and this weekend, a local mom will finally meet the man who got her son's heart. Marisa Oberly spoke to that woman and the recipient ahead of it. She's live in the studio tonight with the story, new at 10, Marisa. Janice and Josh, they cannot wait to see each other in his home state of Nebraska during an organ donation event on Friday. Both say the gift of life changed theirs forever. Nathaniel Garza's heart always put others before himself. His family was everything to him. Uh, his friends, as he got older, his friends were extremely important to him, and his friends weren't his friends, they were his family. His mom, Amanda, says it only made sense that the Muskegon native decided to sign up as an organ donor when he got his license. Little did either of them know, though, that just a few years later, in October 2019, Nathaniel, at age 20, would die in a drunk driving crash. And while upset over his death, Amanda also felt relief that his choice to donate would keep parts of him alive. Just knowing that something that was so tragic, so senseless, so stupid to have happened as a demise, um, that something so good and so positive and so life sustaining would come out of it. Um, it just gave me a lot of comfort, yeah. a lot of hope. In all, Nathaniel's organs went to six people. A year after he died, Amanda sent letters to each of them. She soon heard back from the man with his heart. I'm breathing good. I work out a couple hours a day and uh, Amanda, you know, and her family and stuff, bless me. Congestive heart failure put Barney Cotton on the organ transplant list a few months before Nathaniel died. But the former University of Nebraska assistant football coach's new heart beats strong. So it allows me to, you know, to still be a husband and, and to still be a dad. After they connected, Barney and Amanda grew close. We tell each other we love each other. Uh, we, you know, I, 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 uh, I love his whole family. They will meet for the first time this weekend at an organ donation event in Omaha. Friday happens to be Nathaniel's birthday as well. I'm just so proud of my son. I'm so proud of him. A special moment each of them eagerly await. They hope it teaches people to put others before themselves. Be a donor because in a tragic situation to give another family the gift of life. You know, what a blessing to that family and hopefully you'll, you'll create a new relationship mm -hmm. and be able to live through your lost one, mm -hmm. you know, through that uh, recipient and his family. Now, Amanda encourages families to talk about their end of life wishes and educate themselves on organ donation. According to Gift of Life Michigan, 2022 was the fifth consecutive year that more than a thousand organs were transplanted within the state. You can find more information on that on our website at fox17online.com. And I got to be honest, this is a personal story for me too. My mm -hmm. uncle passed away unexpectedly in January and donated his organs. And I just know it really has a positive impact both on the families, uh, we're all of the families involved in it. So, sure. yeah. Not going to be a dry eye in the house when they finally <laughs> meet this weekend. Yeah, and yeah, they are what so a excited. strong mom, her yeah. perspective on things. Yeah, she, she talked a lot about how she's not necessarily sad about her son's death anymore because yeah. of the impact he has had through his organ donation. She said it really mm -hmm. keeps him going or keeps her going uh, through all of this. Well, it's so. incredible to know that her son's heart beats on mm -hmm. inside him. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a wild yeah. Uh, yeah. encounter. Wow. And it's important to be able to designate yourself as an organ donor yep. ahead of time. Yeah, yep. Well. Yep. she said her son signed up right when he had gotten his license. And mm -hmm. uh, she said even if so, she probably would have still done it anyways, just because she had worked in the healthcare setting before and knew the importance of uh, uh, donation so That's truly yeah. the gift of life okay marisa thank yeah. you we've got those resources on our website mm -hmm. for people if they want to check it out thank okay. you